Hello everybody, my name is Zool, and welcome to the Oblivion Mod Showcase. Today we're going to be looking at a mod called Alternate Start. Wait, did I tell you that my name was Zool yet? Because I'm Zool, and if you're a new subscriber to my channel, you probably think I talk really awkwardly like this all the time. Because I probably will, but not not a lot in these videos. Anyway, so today we're going to be covering a mod that changes the start for Oblivion. It's an alternate start mod, and it allows you to arrive by ship. And here's a list of the features that I've compiled. Uh, so the first thing is it has a much faster start. You don't have to do the prison. Uh, you pretty much get right into the action right away, making your class however you would like it. Uh, it's also very immersive, much more immersive than standing outside the sewers with a save game. Uh, because I find that that's a little bit non-immersive, and also it doesn't really allow you to roleplay uh, all the different backstories you want. Uh, one of the good features of this mod is that it's integrated with the main story, meaning that uh, it won't ruin it. It's not like some alternate start mods for other games like Oblivion or Fallout where uh, it doesn't make sense with the main story. This mod will perfectly fit with the main story in my opinion, and there's no real change there. Uh, the mod also allows for a choice of past. Uh, and this affects your equipment and start locations. So you could say that you were a noble, uh, perhaps a peasant, perhaps a priest, uh, and your reason for traveling. Uh, and it will all determine the amount of equipment and stuff you start with. Uh, there's also options to start with various diseases, including advanced stages of vampirism, so that is pretty excited. Uh, but enough with this feature list, you want to see the mod in action, so let's take a look at the mod in action. Okay, so let's take a look at alternate start arrive by ship in action. As I've said, this is a pretty cool mod that changes the beginning of the game, makes it nice and easy, and is much more immersive, and it has a couple of other special options that I think you might enjoy a lot. So let's take a look at it now. Uh, let's skip over the Emperor's little cinematic there, and we will take a look at the character generation. Uh, so let's just, you know, quickly sort of make a character here. He'll have black hair, uh, that's loose, you know, it'll be kinda, kinda fancy, kinda, kinda princely, he'll just be an imperial. And he will be named, of course, Zul. Alright, there we go. Uh, and as we can see, we are in the interior of a ship. So, that's pretty much all there is. We start with, uh, very, very little amount of stuff. We, uh, an iron dagger and some travelers equipment and that's about it and what you got to do is you got to walk over here and fill out your immigration form so you can select your birth sign uh, for example the shadow or the steed you know whatever you want yes you can select your class so this guy is an archer there we go and finally you can select your social status so uh, the one thing that i really think it validates this mod. It adds a lot to it. I mean, the immersive beginning of the game is awesome, but this just adds that that le level of extra detail. This is what allows you to change the way your character, um, his past is, and it, it changes what your equipment is. So you can actually select your present, uh, or your social status. Uh, and you get different amounts of money and such for that. For example, if you're a manual laborer, you'll start with very little gold. Uh, and if you're a merchant, you'll start with a lot more. And it also changes what your equipment is and a couple of other things. So this is a nobleman. He looks a little bit uh, princely. Uh, why am I visiting Cyrodiil? I'm here in search of business opportunities, interested in other areas of Tamriel or other, which kind of allows you to be uh, justify being an evil character. Perhaps I'm coming here for something more sinister. I wouldn't write that down on an immigration form, obviously. That would be a little silly. I mean, it's not like, I'm coming here to kill Steve. Uh, no, uh, just other would be fine. Uh, I'm coming here in search of other areas of Tamriel. And I am a wealthy nobleman who's going to arrive in the Imperial City. And there's another thing you can actually add. You can start off with the following diseases. Um... So if you want to be, I believe one of these is a vampire, I'm not quite 100% sure what all of these do, but if you want to start out the game with them, you can. I'm not going to though. After you've filled out your immigration papers, you can just head over to the bed and sleep. Clicking on that will cause you to wake up right outside the docks in either the Imperial City or Anvil. Uh, you can also stop in Leowin if you have better cities, a mod that I'm going to be covering right away. now. Uh, you're going to get this quest thing here. This is the only reason I left the quest pop-ups on. Because this is how the main story is actually fit into this mod uh, in an adequate way. Basically, your character 
has a dream similar to the Emperor's dream and he sort of envisions the Emperor dying and dropping the amulet of kings uh, and you're given the quest to go do that now unfortunately I'm going to get about a million of these quest pop-ups here so give me a moment all right so now that all those pop-ups are gone yes 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 uh, we can notice there's a bag right here there's also one in Anvil it's uh, I think it's on the other side of some boxes and stuff, and this contains uh, my items. So I'm a noble, of course, so uh, this equipment is going to reflect that. As we can see, I have a very fine iron longsword. I have a bow, because I am an archer. Uh, I have a wonderful looking doublet here. And some jewelry, because I am rich. Let's equip my longsword. Uh, I also have quite a bit of money because I'm a well-off noble, so this is the most money you can start with. A well-off peasant is not going to have much. A uh, poor noble will still have more than him, however, so keep that in mind. And there we are, so I can actually start my journey in Cyrodiil now. I have my pass sorted out, I can begin the main story if I'd like to, and otherwise I can just adventure around and do whatever it is I feel like. Alright, so to install, alternate start, arrive by ship, uh, we're going to need to head over to the Oblivion Nexus. Uh, now, if we take a look down here, you'll see some information about the mod, we're not going to talk about that right now. Uh, head along to the file section on the Nexus page. On this page, we will see that there are three files, uh, they're all different versions of the files, and what we're going to do is just go ahead and download alternate start version 1.6.6. So go ahead and manually download this file, it will take a little while to download, uh, and after that I will see you on the other side. Alright, so uh, once we have the file downloaded, uh, we'll have the archive right here on our desktop, we're going to open up the Oblivion Mod Manager and we're going to do our usual thing. We're going to create no mod, I'm going to call it alternate start, uh, I'm going to leave everything else really how it is, I'm going to add an archive, uh, let's go to my desktop where the archive is actually going to be alternate start open uh, we'll see that uh, there is a plugin here uh, so that is an ESP there are no textures or anything like that so we can just go ahead and create the L mod click yes and it will create successfully uh, then you're gonna have to go ahead and activate the L mod and finally run boss to uh, fix the load order. I think uh, I know for a fact that in my load order specifically, it uh, should appear about there because I don't have very many mods. So it's not that much of a concern in that regard. So that's about it. Uh, the mod is now installed. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it and uh, to support me, I would ask that you please consider subscribing to my channel. It would definitely mean a lot to me and I would definitely appreciate it. You can also follow me on Twitter, uh, check out some of my older stuff. I do all sorts of things, modding Oblivion, I've modded Fallout 3, I have a lot of stuff for modding KOTOR and there's not a lot of other people that have been really covering that too much and all of this stuff is updated to 2014 so it is all really accurate and really tightly done which is pretty cool. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say though, so sorry for the long outro. Oh, one more thing. Uh, I am looking for anybody who has a little bit of Photoshop experience or GIMP or whatever you want to use to try and help me design a better end slate than this. I want something a bit more simple that I don't have to annotate uh, eight or nine things. So if you have any experience in that or you know anybody, you know, put me in contact with them or link me their channel down below. I would really appreciate that. I want to get something a bit more elegant. I I'm not really sure yet, but I, I don't like the amateur ones that I've done. I think they look kind of ugly. Uh, but until the next time that uh, we see each other in a video again, I guess you'll neither of us will see each other because I don't appear in these videos and you don't either, but what was I doing? Oh yeah, I have been Zool. Have an excellent day.